I often get asked quite a few different questions about the Caternix quail and uh, here's going to be a list of a few of the different uh, questions I've gotten and some of the answers to them. Uh, hopefully this will uh, answer most people's questions. One question I get often is, what is a quail? Well, these are quail. It's a little ground bird. They do fly short distances. Uh, when they get spooked, for the most part, they live their entire lives on the ground. Another one of the questions I get all the time is, there's different kinds of quail? Yeah, there's quite a few different kinds. Uh, the kind I breed are Caternix. Um, and these are the Italians here. We've got Pharaohs here. We've got some Aniums down here. Got some Tibetan Tibetans over in the another cage over there. Uh, what is the best male female ratio to keep with quail? If you're wanting fertile eggs, then probably one of your best ratios would be to do a four female to one male or three female to one male. This one right here, I got four females and one male in here. Uh, I do know some people that keep them up to five uh, females, sometimes six. I don't go that far. I usually do three or four to one. It usually works out really well for me. I get some great hatches on mine. You get asked quite often, what is the best type of cage to keep quail in? Well, personally, I have both type. I have a wire bottom and I have a solid bottom. So I personally like the solid bottoms. I keep the wire bottom ones here for my grow outs uh, until I decide if I want to keep any of them as breeders or if they get sold or if they're going to uh, get sold um, uh, or going on the dinner plate. Uh, I personally like the solid bottom ones better. They seem to, uh, the birds seem to be happier on them versus the wire bottoms. I know a lot of people swear by the wire bottoms. And like I said, I do have them and I use them. Uh, but I use them strictly for my grow outs. Uh, I've had, used to keep some breeders in these, but uh, kept having issues with bumblefoot. Uh, and so I decided to change and move all of them to the my breeders to the solid floor and just keep my grow outs in these how long do quail live well uh, I'm, my experience has been usually two to three years um, that's probably the average um, I usually swap out my breeders once a year uh, after about a year, their uh, uh, fertility drops uh, and they'll start slowing down after about a year and a half as far as what they lay. Uh, and usually by about two years, two to three years, or two, two to a half years, they'll uh, quit laying all together. And then not long after that is when they pass. Um, but yeah, once a year, I usually swap out my breeders and uh, get some, raise up some new ones. Do I need a male to get eggs? No. You do not have to have a rooster to be able to get eggs. All you need are hens, and you won't be able to uh, incubate any of those eggs. Uh, but all you need is hens, and they'll lay for a good year and a half, two years. Um, first year is when they really lay. Second year they start to lo slow down. Uh, all you need are the hens. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to like and follow us on Facebook at Hope and Faith Family Farm. The link is in the description below.